The Senate was set to vote this week on a measure striking down Washington, D.C.'s crime law after President Joe Biden picked his political future over his party. It's a move that has infuriated some Democrats and the local leaders of the nation's capital. Unfortunately, we live with the indignity of limited home rule in this in the District of Columbia, where taxpaying Americans uh, were in the shadow of the Capitol, but we don't have two senators, we don't have a vote. The D.C. City Council moved on Monday to withdraw the controversial crime law, which could trigger the end of the Senate review process that caused so much drama. Either way, Biden's opposition to the liberal crime reforms helped sink the changes. Many Democrats were angry. Other Democrats had declined to criticize Biden on his decision to back efforts to overrule D.C. Right. But the Democratic president is signaled that he doesn't agree with that and he's going to sign a Republican bill to override what you just described. Are you okay with that? Well, let's take it one step at a time. We have to see what happens uh, in the United States Senate. The White House said last week that Biden did not agree with some of the changes that D.C. leaders made to the city's criminal code. That was more important than his support of Washington's so-called home rule, or its ability to govern itself. The D.C. Council put changes forward over the mayor's objections, and the president doesn't support changes like lowering penalties for carjacking. Biden's surprising turn on crime comes as he prepares the possible launch of a re-election bid. That would force him to contend with Republican attacks about his record on crime. If Biden's stand against D.C. liberals kills their reforms, Republicans will have one less reason to claim he's soft on crime. His pressure appeared to force local leaders to change course on the crime overhaul, which included lowering penalties for offenses like carjacking. In the Senate, the D.C. crime measure was expected to gain broad bipartisan support, especially from vulnerable Democrats worried about messaging on crime. Sarah Westwood for The Washington Examiner.